earlier with Johnny Pesky, and I couldn't help but thinking about uh, generations past, and I chatted with Johnny about that. What would, what would your friend Ted Williams have said today? Oh, there's no telling what he would have said. I think Shirley picked up where he left off. <laughs> Shirley is a godsend, I think. Oh, what a wonderful kid. And uh, boy, I hope he, he you know, he, he did so much for our ball club. But he was so knowledgeable and so quick that you just had to listen to him. And I, I tried to get that across to Schilling when he got there. And he, he told me early in the spring, he said, Ted was playing this year, he did 15 home runs and drive in 75. I said, you, are you serious? I said, that stuff you threw up at the dish, you see that 502 up there in right field that had gone 20 more feet? <laughs> and he laughed about it. He just had a great set. But the thing that, that you have to admire about him, he studied the pitching. He studied the pitching about how Ted studied the hitting. The very few guys do that in the game. You are Mr. Red Sox. I mean, I, there's, there's got to be nobody happier than you. I'm, I'm probably the happiest man around here. And it's been a long time coming, and I've had a good good run with the, with, the East, with the team and with the new owners have been very, very good. And, but I'm so happy for the fans because they they come out here every day. And, it, and you know, when you run into situations the way we have in the last few years, it, you know, they said, we're, we're cursed, we're jinxed and stuff. That's not true. Something always, you know, every game is not perfect. And you've got to accept that. <laughs> well, Johnny Pesky, Mr. Red Sox, waited his whole life for this. And as I said to Johnny, you know what? You made it. You lived to see it, and uh, so did I. And we're both uh, happy about it, as I know you are, Krista.